and I'm Stéline. My name is Emeline and you're watching ETA to Z on Arts TV. Today, I'm opening the doors of one of Africa's largest and most renowned airlines, the Ethiopia Air Menged. Ethiopian Airlines has come a long way since its first flight to Cairo back in 1946. This veteran career owned by the government now serves more than 127 international passenger and cargo destinations. Today, we are going to meet the faces behind the airlines that is just over 75 years old. I am with Viskut, who is a flight attendant with 12 years of experience. And you are also... Safety instructor for two years and 10 months. A safety instructor is someone uh, who gives training for the trainees and uh, theory in the classroom as well as practical drills in the, inside the mock-up. We'll bring the crew members inside the mock-up and we give them practical drills like firefighting uh, and evacuation drills because we know that uh, air transport is the safest mode of transport in the world, but we never know what's going to happen. So we are, as a cabin crew member, we are there for the safety of our passengers. Have you always dreamt of becoming a flight attendant? Sure, just like the other Ethiopian kids, I used to dream that, especially when I see the flight attendants and the pilots wearing that beautiful uniform, and also uh, being a part of Ethiopian Airlines, which is the spirit of Africa and the proud of Africa as well. So being part of uh, this organization is definitely was a big deal to me. What are the must-have qualities and essential skills of a flight attendant? A cabin crew member should be assertive and caring and uh, we need to be very strong uh, physically and mentally because we are going to face a lot of difficult situations. And the job also comes with challenges. What kind of challenges? The biggest challenge uh, is leaving your family members and going abroad, especially on some holidays and uh, big occasions. We may not be around, so that's the biggest challenge we have. Has your family been understanding? My family members are very supportive. My mother, my sisters, and my husband as well. I'm very thankful for my family members. Now, let's move to the training aircraft where we're going to meet one pilot. Malet, yes, you started your training as a pilot a couple of years ago, right? Yes, uh, I have joined the Aviation Academy in 2018 as a pilot trainee. And you now operate domestic flights? Yes, I'm currently first officer on Q400. When do you think you're going to become a captain? Maybe in four years. I will be upgraded uh, to the bigger aircraft than after flying for some years or accumulating the required amount of hours to become a captain. According to Ethiopian Airlines standard, we have to have 3,000 hours of flight time in order to be a captain. Basically, the training program consists of three different phases. The first one is theoretical part. So it took us about six months to complete the theory part and we went to the simulator for a specific a single engine aircraft or for the training aircraft, then we went to flight training. How hard is it? The training as well as the job is not hard by itself, but it really needs your discipline in order to complete the training uh, successfully. What does it take to become a good pilot? You have to manage your time properly. You have to be prepared all the time. You have to read everything about the flight, the aircraft. You have to know the limitations of the aircraft, the systems of the aircraft, and you have to know everything that's required from you to in order to fly. It's not only the normal procedures, as you have to know the emergency procedures. You have to know uh, what to prioritize during flight. You have to be able to give 
best decisions. When you describe those tasks and requirements, you seem so passionate. Very much. I'm very passionate about it. You know, I always wake up being energetic to go to flight. I always read about uh, the flight that I'm going to be flying. I will be prepared for everything. It's very interesting job if you are really committed to it, if you give it the best of your time, the best of your energy. Have you always dreamt of becoming a pilot? Ever since I was a child. Yeah. Uh, I used to watch Captain Ansalas interviews at different medias. So I think it was from there that I started to have this interest to become a pilot. Who is Captain Amsale? Oh, Captain Amsale is the first female captain in the history of Ethiopia. And I think she is the second African female captain to fly Boeing 787. Do you know how many female pilots there are at Ethiopian Airlines? I can't be sure the exact number. Uh, actually, we are six in our batch and I believe that we are beyond 30 uh, females who are during training as well as who are in the flight. What is society's perception towards female pilots? Actually, uh, it's an unusual career or job in our society. Uh, many people might tell you that it's impossible for a female. The job uh, is not challenging or hard just because you are a female. Uh, the only thing that's required from you is your dedication, your commitment. Amasa Genalo, soon to be Captain Mallet. Thank you, Emily. Anytime. When is going to be your next flight? I have a flight after one day. So, Malkan Berra. Amasa Genalo. Now it's time for us to take off. Welcome, Emily, to Airbus 350 Flight Simulator. Today, we are in uh, Paris, Charles de Gaulle. So the weather is amazing today. The wind is calm. This is the weather that we like. Yeah, you're lucky. And you're going to be pilot flying today. And I will be pilot monitoring. Perfect. Okay. So ready? Ready. Ethiopian 705, clean for takeoff, runway two seven right. Manflix 48 SRS runway auto thrusts. Hundred knots. B1. Rotate. Positive line, gear up. You can engage the autopilot. Okay. Just touch this. Yeah. I can relax. Yeah. This is a critical part of the flight. Yeah. Though, so for sake of workload management, it's better to fly with autopilot so that we can see uh, the other critical situations around because during takeoff, you have to communicate and you have to also uh, monitor the flight. So it's better to fly with autopilot after takeoff. But sure. you can fly manually. Oh. The aircraft is climbing to 5,000. We're now flying, heading. 260. So the speed that we have is 250 knots. So it's like miles per hour. How accurate is the simulation technology? The flight simulator technology is uh, the same with the aircraft, but there might be some things that you cannot simulate or replicate in the simulator. But such as. For example, you can't simulate fatigue. If you fly from uh, Washington DC to Aris, it takes 13 hours. So the, fat the pilots are fatigued. So their reaction time might be less. So the, for simulator, the students, they, they prepare, they, they well prepared, they rested. They're so, very alert. Exactly, the human factors that you cannot simulate. Otherwise, most of the malfunctions, you can simulate. And so, what are the the weather conditions that you prefer? The simulation depends on the uh, experience of the pilots. At initially, at the initial training phase, we simulate them with a the nice weather so that they like it at the initial. But for well-experienced pilots, especially pilots uh, uh, who already checked out on the aircraft, they will come every six months for recency. So those times, they have to simulate them the weather condition that they are flying. 
We are now with Captain Ebebu, who has been in the company for 18 years. He has been a pilot for 16 years and has trained over 100 pilots. It's been seven years since you started training pilots? Yes. It's our responsibility to transfer our knowledge to other fellow pilots. So uh, you have to dedicate yourself while conducting trainings because you have to know a lot. As an instructor, you have to exhibit high standard in terms of discipline and also knowing your equipment. It's about knowing your aircraft system. You have to have knowledge about your, the, the aircraft that you are flying. So uh, let us plan to return back. Let me prepare the cockpit for landing. How many hours do you need in the simulator to become a good pilot? For initial training, like those who came from other aircrafts, which is like from Boeing or uh, we have Bombardier, so they require about 80 hours simulator time. So after they finish the training effectively, then they have to go to the actual aircraft. So they have to conduct few hours in the actual aircraft, even before checking out. This is not enough. Is it sometimes difficult to juggle your professional life and your private life? The good part of the job is you, you can uh, visit a lot of uh, countries and also with your family. Yes. So if you manage your time properly, I can say that it's not difficult to manage. Are we ready to land? Yes. Now we are uh, 37 miles, so you can reduce your speed to 200. Until 190. Push. Push this button. The level D simulator that we are calling, yeah. it, it simulates the motion. Mm -hmm. so the actual G-force. Uh -huh. This is called side stick. Yes. When you fly manual, when you aft, yes. the aircraft climbs. Okay. And when you move it forward, yes. the aircraft descends. Okay. Okay. <laughs> and when I make it to the left, the aircraft turns to the left. Okay. You see? I see. Okay. And to the right, we have this feeling. But we don't do it like this. I just, I'm not showing you the maneuver, but yeah. I can do it smoothly, you see? I'm uh -huh. turning, but this is for the passenger comfort. Of course. I have to do it very smoothly because they pay for our salary. <laughs> yeah? So that passenger comfort is our priority. Do you like when passengers are clapping at the end, like after landing? Of course, when the passengers are satisfied, that's our final goal. We try to do everything possible from the cockpit side and from the cabin side, the best possible in order to satisfy the passengers. So would you recommend us passengers to clap? Of course. <laughs> it means, you know, like it means a lot for us. Priority right. Continue. 100, 90, 80, 70, 60, 40, 30, 20, retard. I don't know. So it's a uh, pleasure flying PT Open Alliance. So you liked the, the flight? I enjoyed it very much. The flight was amazing. Perfect. <laughs> this is what you're supposed to hear, right? <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Captain. thank you very much. We 
have safely landed in London. We have just parked at the gate 331. Thank you so much, Captain. It was an amazing journey. Thank you, and uh, it's a pleasure to fly with you. I'm Asak Gunaldo. Thank you very much. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of ETA2Z. See you all next time.